So this question looks like it's going to be a simplified question. Any question on the ACT that is a single line long, uh, typically one to three lines long, uh, will fall into the simplified category. So whenever I see that, I'm not even thinking about solving, right? So solving the solving will happen, but what I'm thinking about is, well, what did they give me? In this case, is three root seven over a root seven equals three square root seven over seven, and how can I simplify that, right? Well, I can simplify that because square root of seven divided by square root seven, those go oh, that's gone, so this becomes three over a equals three root seven over seven. And then I can cross multiply here. So I'd have three a root seven equals three times seven, which is 21. I can divide both sides by three. So I get a square root seven equals seven. And then I can divide both by root seven, which I guess I could have done here and saved a step, but that's fine. So I get a equals seven over root seven. And that's my a, that's as much as I can simplify this. So then when I go back to look at the question, that's exactly what they are asking me to find is what is the value of a, but seven, divided by square root seven is not there. Oh, and because I can't leave, so that's a good reminder. <laughs> um, you're not gonna leave a square root in the denominator. So we need to rationalize this by multiplying top and bottom by root seven. So when I do that, I get seven root seven divided by seven, right? Because square root seven times square root seven is seven. And then the sevens would cancel out. Seven divided by seven is one. So therefore, a is really just the square root of 7, which tells you that my answer is choice G. So I like questions like this really because of what happened here, right? So I got to this stage. I thought I was finished. I don't see my answer listed. And typically what a student will do when that happens is they'll start to freak out, say they must have made a mistake. They don't know what they're doing. Erase the whole thing. Start all over from scratch. Or what they'll do is just guess uh, on a number they think is closest. So maybe they would have guessed G, who knows? Maybe they would have guessed H, who knows? Um, and instead of doing that, what I like to think about is, hmm, I must have made just a small error. Let me go back, look at my work, see what happened. And really, I didn't even have to go that far because I realized right away that, um, you know, I can't leave a square root in the denominator. So that's just not going to ever happen on this test. And it doesn't typically happen in school either, right? So I just made a mistake of not simplifying this as far as I could take it. And I found that my answer is G.